Hey Pisces, and welcome back to the channel, guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Y'all know it's an open conversation. What every person wants to talk about, whatever the cards bring out, that's what we're talking about. This week we're using love situations, one of Maruk X's Oracle decks. Our tarot deck is the Dream Keepers Tarot, and the conversation deck is whatever deck your person's energy falls on. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see whose energy is the strongest. For my Pisces this week, y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You could check that one out and see if I was able to pick up the energy there. It's for my Pisces. Let's jump in. Let's see what they are focused in on when it comes to you and your connection. Pisces person, bring it to us. Where are we at? What's going on? Ooh, energy's going. To, ooh, pop. Hang on. Let's see what we got. We're getting two here. First off, we've got poker face, a two face, lack of expression, hiding true feelings. And what come with it? Love that grows with time, needs it time to grow. Unexpected lessons in life. Somebody is hiding their true feelings and feels like they just, it's going to take time with us. Let's see what else. What else? We pop. Boundaries. No more enabling. Feel used to setting healthy boundaries. Hold on to that. What else? Anything else that needs to come out? Pisces. Ooh, pop. Fights. Ow. Arguments creating drama. Moments of tension. Moments of tension. Oh my goodness. Hold the energy on this deck. Pisces, what am I picking up here? I'm picking up somebody that is real. They get real with us. I, I feel like these two are possibly your energies. Because your person is like... They may be in friend zone. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I feel confused about. It. Are you friends, or are you? Have y'all been avoiding your true feelings for each other for a really long time? Because I feel like this is your energy. You're coming out of a bad, toxic relationship possibly put a plural on it relationships this person has been around for a while they know they know you they and when when you're off with someone else because like i said i get a feeling it's really confusing because i don't really want to say you're friends you've been friends for a long time y'all got more than that going on but you've both been denying it about each other uh-huh but this would be your energy of what you're coming out of, needing to set healthy boundaries, feeling like you you got used. Um, a lot of drama in a connection. But I also feel like that's also the energy in this connection because this person is willing to, to step up and tell you the truth, the uncomfortable truth of what they see going on, of you and Abel people blah 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 you know they they tell you the truth <laughs> and you'd be like sticking that hand out there going you better back up you're gonna get popped y'all Ooh, that's confusing pisces let's get on talking guys it's for my pisces person let me shuffle this around one more pisces person Talk to us on this poker face, and it needs time. Needs time to grow. And what did I just hear? We've had plenty of time. Six of Wands energy. Victory card, but it's also spotlight energy. Feeling like eyes are on you, and the way you are seeing them. Oh, expectations that they have of their self. Four Cups. They've offered the heart. They want to offer the heart, their heart to you. But, uh, I get a feeling we, we're not enthused about taking that chance or opportunity with them. We're getting two here. What do we've got? King, Queen of Pentacles. 
with a five of wands queen of pentacles is the nurturer energy but it's also i'm picking up some of the shadow because the rabbits have popped again for me of uh, being fretful fret fretting over uh tangible things uh nurturing on a tangible level i don't know how else to put that word just fretting a uh, nervous energy uh Somebody always coming across is they want the best for us, but it's like our hand is out going, well, I didn't ask your opinion, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> Ow, and then we got a five of ones. Things are very confusing for us. With this person's energy on a personal level, with this one coming out, they are in a constant battle with their self constant battle with herself when it comes to you because they want they want you know they want to tell you the truth they're going to be authentic with you but at the same time they're very vulnerable of knowing they can get hurt and their heart is guarded a little bit right now against uh, real threats and imagined threats guys so yeah ow not just their heart not just their heart what am i hearing now some of the things they say to us, the abrupt truth, they smack with, you know, always we come up with the drama. It's, uh, it's like getting into conversations, they end up in arguments with us. Um, it's they wanting to protect you. That that fretting over physically protecting you, doing, you know, what's best for you, wanting to nurture you. Uh, but it's a constant battle in our conversations and when we try to try to talk even if we're trying to talk as friends it always comes out and you be like back off back off let's come in over here on the boundaries got the empress energy oh the glow up energy but she also brings life to something she uh, brings abundance to what in this connection Ow, a ten of wands stress stress but a determination not to give up and self-restriction. Eight of swords being indecisive about the connection we have with this person. And standing on the threshold of the young emperor. Yes, divine masculine energy trying to build confidence. And we ain't going nowhere <laughs> anytime soon because we're at standstill energy. A lot of self-restrictive energy and being indecisive about our connection uh, with each other and where things are headed. I think we we are like standoff bullheaded energy where we clash, uh, but it's, it's almost in a good way because I don't think we would ever break our friendship or our connection with this person. And like I said, I don't feel actually comfortable calling what you have with this person a friendship bond is something more than that. Over here on fights, we got the emperor are both bullheaded. Yes, rolling factor rolling factor our emperor rules over stuff where our empress um amplifies and brings life and abundance to stuff ow three cups energy three's crowd i'm hearing three's crowd socializing joy joy i want to see ooh. This may be an indication that this person, like I said, uh, they they are on the sidelines regardless of who we are with. And it might be something that we actually mirror because they may have been in other relationships also trying to have a relationship with other people where we have been on the sideline, but we it, it's, it would cause issues, big time issues in our connections. Because the the people we're trying to connect and you know be be partner with would not understand the connection that we have together. Because like I said, I feel really confused and uncomfortable saying they're just my friend. That we're just a friend, and yeah, because that would be a red flag. Because the body language, the energy that's going on between the two of you. It's not just friends and your uh, partners, whoever y'all would be with, would recognize this. It's more than just friends. Let's see what the ruling factor is here on these fights. This drama uh, ruling factor. What's what's the main ruling priority factor here? What's going on? 
bring it out for us, Pisces person. Pop. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is Young Empress energy. We got two of Wands, three of Wands. We've got our young versions, but we also got our mature versions of that royal couple. Queen of Swords. Hang on. Cutting through the bullshit. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't mean to let that one slip at all. And the main card. Ooh. We're keeping our feelings absolutely hid from each other. We come across as cold with each other, but we really need to cut the bull crap out with each other. Um, because, yeah. We don't want to lose each other. The fact that we're getting emperor, empress, emperor, and then emperor, empress. We both know we are, the, Pisces, you would know this person deep down. No matter how much the, your ego part, your uh, monkey brain would tell you, no, it's not true. This person is your person. And they know you are their person. I don't know what's holding y'all back other than uh, w three cups. Three cups of energy is bringing in for me, like um, allowing each other to go our separate ways until the time is right, the love that grows, that brings us back together. Uh, but we need to cut through on that and face our subconscious fears, doubts, and, and also our denial, denial about each other in this connection. So on the bottom of the deck, needless stress and anxiety and worry. Yes, obsessing, nine of swords energy. Heartache, yeah, we do get in a lot of arguments. I can already, yeah, we'll fights, drama. The feeling stuck in the situation. We got to hang woman. But there's also uh, sacrificing. Sacrificing our connection. And Ten of Cups. We know we are each other's person in this connection. But we're both sitting. We're mirroring each other when it comes to the denial of the true connection. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep the poker face. You don't mean that much to me. You get on my nerves. Blah, blah, blah. But we know. We know without a doubt. This this bond goes way, way, way beyond friendship. Mm -hmm. Holding energy on the deck is for my Pisces. Ooh. Let's see what deck they want to talk with, guys. Talk to us. Talk to us. Oh, shadow side of Big Mama. We in the big mama, the satisfied of big mama deck. Ooh, I got rocks over there falling, guys. What fell? Let's pull it over here. It's a carnelian. Ooh, can y'all see it? It's a carnelian. Just fell. Oh, I had it uh, laid up on the top of a candle. Oh, carnelian protection. The bond, the cleansing, cleansing your energies. Uh, in the connection. Ooh, but protection. I'm hearing protection. Talk to us. Talk to us. Pisces person. Pisces. Pie. Oh. It's time to let go. Time to let go of the foolishness and the fear that we have. The silence is killing me. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. What else? Staying away from you is driving me insane. Things need to change between us. I feel so much regret for the things I have done and said. I'm lost without you. Reminiscing. I couldn't let you get close to me. We're already close to each other, but we do try to push each other away when we get mad at each other. Upset with each other. I don't want to say mad, just upset with each other. Feels like nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Whew. My intentions are pure, is what I'm hearing. Pure. Do you hear me? Pure. <laughs> we are on different paths. 
stop running away from me. It's hard for me to say no when I really need to. Ooh, to tell you no. They're trying to say that it's hard to tell you no when they really need to. They don't know how to say no to you. I don't mean to take my frustrations out on you. I wanted so badly for you to love me, but I'm accepting that is impossible. Love me, 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 me. Choose me. It's becoming impossible. Feels hopeless. I feel lost without you. Ooh. Anything else? Keep talking. Anything else? Yep. I feel you leaving me behind. Keep talking. Anything else? I don't really know what I want anymore. I feel lost. I feel lost without you. I don't feel like I should want you. But I just feel lost. We have been through so much together. Mm -hmm. Too good for me. That's almost coming across as sarcastic, yeah. Like, you think you're too good for me? You've changed so much and grew away from me. I'm hearing it like they're asking you a question. Like they're asking you, have you grown, changed and grew away? Has, has it changed between us? Have you grown away from me? I'm so broken you don't want this. What else? You would never believe me if I told you how I feel. Ooh, what else? Anything else? Last shuffle. Yep. I think I should give you up so you can be happy. Ow. Hold the energy on the deck. Mm. Let's go back to the tarot real quick, guys. Let's go and talk some more. I want to ask them what they're true. I want them to put aside all the monkey brain chatter, all the doubts, all the insecurities. I want to ask them what they truly want in your connection right now, in this present moment. And let's hold it as timeless so it will be a present moment for anyone in the future. True desires. What are you wanting? A Pisces. Oh, that blew out. Fate. We're fate, fated to be together. We were meant to be together. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is about karma, but it's also about fate. Fate. Three Cups energy. Hang on to that one. Ten of Cups energy. Heaven on Earth. Bliss card. Happiness. They definitely want to offer their heart. Pisces to you. That's your card, Pisces. That's a Knight of Cups energy, Pisces. And they want to step up game with you. They want to get real and transcend to a higher level in this connection. Your true desires. Tell me about the three. Let's pull it across here. Three of Cups energy. Tell me about the three of Cups. Desires on that three of Cups. What is it bringing out? They want to protect you. Mm -hmm. There's confusion. They definitely want it. We're getting the same cards over. I hope y'all seen that. Uh, our Capricorn nurturing queen. They definitely want to take care of you. They they want to be there for you with that one. The, the one that takes care of you. Um, physically. Physical relationship. But they want to nurture you. They do can feel confused about things. And they, they want to guard and protect you. Uh, they're bringing it in heavy duty again on the Three of Cups, but I want to hear more on the Three of Cups desire. Tell me, because I, I understand that, but their true desire is truth, balance. They want the truth. They want the truth, the balance, the yin, the yang. They want to quit, quit holding back from each other with that Five of Pentacles. We are passing up the opportunity to step into something real with each other. Uh, Five of Pentacles is lack mentality. It brings in anxiety, feelings, you know, worry, anxiety, stuff like that. But it's also, we're passing up opportunity with each other. This person wants the truth. 
of stop giving yourself to someone else. I'll stop giving myself to someone else. Devil card. Ooh, devil card. Capricorn. And Five of Cups energy. Ow, Five of Cups energy is a card of feeling disappointment. Feeling like being left behind. The fact that we leave ourselves open and don't commit to each other and step into get truthful with each other. In this connection, uh, we've given up opportunities, always given up the opportunity of happiness with each other. Ten of Cups, heaven on earth, bliss with each other, and stepping up game with the Eight of Wands. Because we got inner demons going on, fighting those inner demons. But this is also telling me there's an absolute extreme magnetic physical chemistry going on between us. And this person is like, it's not so far gone that we can't, it's not too late for us. With this uh, Five of Cups energy, the two cups that remain, there's still time for us. If we can just stop, stop what we've been doing. And this is bringing in the fact that Three of Cups energy is the play around energy, the happy celebration, socializing, friends, things like that. But it's also bringing in the fact that it's, we will sit on the sideline of each other being with someone else that needs to stop. And that's your person's true desire. It's to stop. To stop. To commit to each other. Bring it to a higher level. Woo. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see what's under there. Lovers. They would really like to make that choice and commitment to each other. Our lover's card is, you know, not just about love and romance. It's about making a life decision, a serious decision to commit to something or someone. And they would really like to do it now. <laughs> this is a rebirth. Uh, reinvent yourself judgment card. Uh, I'll say redo. A redo card. It's like reinvent yourself. This person does not want to let go of you. Mm -mm. Four Pentacles is possessiveness, but also just a tight grip of not wanting to lose what's precious to you. I like the fact that it brings in the Libra energy that they pulled out, guys. Uh, Libra, the skills of being balanced, the yin and the yang, of stepping into the truth of we are meant for each other. Ooh, guys. Pisces, let's go ahead, get your person to focus in on the deck. They want to give you final and closing messages from... Hold the energy just in case we need it, Pisces person. Yeah, oh gosh, okay guys. Hang on, we're getting two decks. We're getting two decks. Mm -hmm. We're getting the big guns, of course, light side of conversation with counterpart, and we're getting... Uh, the flying hearts. Let's go with the flying hearts first. Let's see what they're wanting to say. This is the light side of the heart of the phoenix deck. Talk to us. Ooh, pop, pop. You saved me. You're my hope, my strength, and my inspiration. My heart belongs to you. It hurts to be without you. You showed me what real love feels like. Ooh. Is this really happening? Are we a thing? Is it serious between us? They're asking questions, guys. Asking questions. Anything else? Yes. There it is. It tears me apart to think that I could lose you forever. Please don't give yourself to anyone else. You can see through the mask I wear that scares and unnerves me. You motivate me to be a better person. You're my fire. I found myself when I found you. You're everything that has been missing in my life. I'm feeling a magnetic pull towards you. I have never wanted anyone as badly as I want you. It blows my mind to think you actually love me. Last up, oh, there's another one. Ooh, that one don't want to go with me. I've read and reread every message you sent. Your words are deep into my heart and mind. I'm ready to 
follow you anywhere. I would do anything for you. Oof. I need the energy on the deck. Let's see what they were wanting to say with conversation with counterpart. Talk to us. Pisces. Boop, pop. We're miles apart, but you're always in my heart. No matter how far apart we are, you're always with me. The light in me sees the light in you. I love you. Your love mends my broken heart. You're my greatest adventure. I don't understand how I could fall so fast. I have trouble sharing myself. I'll bring you the stars. My heart is on fire for you. My romantic feelings are growing for you. I'm giving you all my heart. Last one, guys. Please love me as I am. Oh, Pisces, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.